I'm speaking about sports, team sports, not the individual sports, the team sports. It's a great way to reduce the risk of chronic diseases like, you know, diabetes and, and heart diseases. So parents, if you're listening, it's not about the glitz and glamour and the success and the fortune and fame that your child may bring you. But the fact that they'll be alive long enough to be able to enjoy some of those riches if they do get there. That's what's important. You also don't want your child to be that one athlete who gets on the court or the field and has a health issue that no one knew about because we pushed them so hard. Um, a study was conducted by the Canadian Society of Exercise and Physiology found that Canadian youth who participate in regular physical activity, such as sports, have a much lower risk of developing obesity and type 2 diabetes. Because A lot of us parents don't think that our children can have such conditions. Diabetes, obesity, you know, he's a kid, he's going to grow out of it, he's going to stretch out of it, it's going to happen this way and that way, and we are not even doctors. you got to be honest with yourself. If your child is obese for their age, you can tell. Get them the help they need before it gets worse. Don't chalk it up to the fact that they're too young to get help. Then you're going to have, you know, adults who aren't able to cope because parents weren't able to help them when they were younger. Don't enable the problem. Help resolve it. Change their diet. Encourage them to do more active activities, right? To be more active out there. Type 2 is hitting everybody. You don't have to be old to get it anymore. Kids are getting it. So just understand that. Because our food is definitely out the window. It's, it's gone to garbage. So if our food is trash, you can only imagine what we're putting into our children and ourselves.